Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna show you guys how I created this makeup look right here. Um, I was very inspired by Valentine's Day, which is coming up in like three weeks. I know it seems like a long time, but trust me, it's gonna fly by. This time just flies by, come on. January is almost over. The year just started and the first month of this new year is almost over. <sighs> I know. Anyway, I threw some purples in here, some hot pinks, and a wing eyeliner, some shimmer, some nice lashes, and this is what I came up with. I absolutely love the way it turned out. And yeah, also, my skin mm -mm, is not getting along with me. I am breaking out a lot right here. I also paired this eye with a matte liquid lipstick because I know y'all don't because y'all boyfriends. <laughs> um, I'd suggest for you to uh, put a matte liquid lipstick that day if you're gonna be kissing your boyfriends because liquid lipsticks are literally kiss proof you see nothing and yeah I think that's it if you want to know how I achieved this look then please keep on watching all right so I already did this eye because you know I want to save me some time and first I'm gonna start off with um, makeup geek cupcake eyeshadow and it's just like a baby pink eyeshadow and the brush I'm using is the Sigma E35 blending brush and I'm gonna bring it all the way to the not all the way to the inner corner but around right here so like from right here all the way to the outer corner and to prime my lids, I use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC30. And it's just my the one I put right here under my eyes. And I put powder on top. Translucent powder. I'm going to move on to the next eyeshadow. And it's going to be... Swan? Swan? <laughs> From the Kevon D. Maybe La Loca palette. And for this eyeshadow, I'm going to be using a Morphe M513 um, brush. And I'm just going to pick a little bit. Or maybe a lot. And then I'm just going to put it in the crease as well. And do the exact same thing I did with the other one. All right, now I'm gonna go with another palette. I know so many palettes and eyeshadows, but that's how I created this one. So um, I'm gonna go in with the Mo Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, and it's this one is the Love Letter. Wow, Love Letter, um, Valentine's Day, Love Letter, just like meant to be. And then the brush I'm using is the Morphe M441, and I'm just gonna grab some and do the same thing. I mean, just keep it a little lower than the other eyeshadows because if not, it's going to look like I just packed one eyeshadow in the crease. And I don't want that. I want it to look like it's well blended. Oh, this eyeshadow is beautiful. And then I'm going to go back to another Makeup Geek eyeshadow, and this one's called Americano. And for this eyeshadow, I'm going to use the MAC 217 blending brush. This brush is a dream. If you don't have it, you need it. I'm not going to try to bring it as much over here as I did with the other eyeshadows. I'm just going to keep it mostly on my outer corner. Like so. Alright, and now I'm going to go <laughs> with another eyeshadow palette. And this one's also from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one's the Shadow Couture palette. And I'm going to grab my favorite shimmery eyeshadow ever. This one is Pink Champagne. Champagne. Uh, and this one, I'm just going to grab it with my finger because I feel like it's better. Like it applies better with my finger than it would with, uh, with the brush. So I'm just going to grab it right here and then I'm going to apply it on my lid. 
this way. Now I'm going back to my okay. MAC 217 blending brush and with the same eyeshadow Americano. I'm just going to go right here and add a little bit more. Just a little bit more, not like a lot. And now I'm going to add eyeliner, which I'm pretty scared to do on camera. <sighs> and for eyeliner, you guys always ask me what eyeliner I'm wearing. And it's the NYC liquid eyeliner. It's so old and I still it still has a lot and I use it often so yeah I should get your hands on it. Oh my god. If I mess up I'm gonna be so upset. All right, so I think I like it now. Now I'm just gonna, um, I'm always dropping something. Now I'm just gonna apply a mascara on my lashes and I'm gonna apply the telescopic, the L'Oreal telescopic mascara that I always talk about. Yeah, that one. Okay, and what I do is I apply the mascara on my lashes and then I let the mascara dry so I could curl them because if I apply the mascara and right after I try to curl my lashes, they wouldn't curl like nothing. Like, it would, they'd just be straight again. So I'm, while I wait, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... What, are, what should I do? What should I do? I'm just gonna do everything else. I'm just gonna start with my face and I'm <laughs> look, I'm, I'm I literally ran out, so I take this off my fix plus and there's a little bit of water in there. I'm just gonna put it on my hand. Ah, oh, please come out. Come out this instant. Really? Okay, there you there you go. Okay. <gasps> okay, so I'm gonna put that on my face so it could hydrate my skin. This is much easier when I could spray it. <laughs> but it is what it is. I need to run and go get me some more. And now to prime my face, I'm using the Post Shade Balm from um, Nivea, and this is for sensitive skin. This much because so I'm just gonna apply it all over my face, and this does have a strong smell, but it's not a bad smell. Then I am going to apply my foundation, and for foundation, I'm using. The only foundation I always use, and it is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Foundation. I just dot this all over my face. Let me see. I put this in the back of my hand first, obviously. Oh! Probably this much, or maybe this is too much. No, yeah, this is too much. Okay, I'm just gonna dot this all over my face. And now, with this bit of blender, I'm just gonna dab it all over my face. Alright, so now I'm going with concealer and it is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC30. Just two little pumps and that should do it. And with the same bit of blender, I'm just going to blend that out.
So now I'm going to set my under eye and for that I'm using the RCMA um, translucent no color powder. Translucent. Yeah, right? The RCMA. Oh my oh, oh, my foot really hurts. It doesn't hurt. Oh, it doesn't hurt, but it feels funny. I can't. Oh, it feels funny. And with the same beauty blender, I'm just gonna grab some translucent powder and then I'm just gonna dab it under my eye. <laughs> this is an elf taper brush and I'm just using this brush to like dust the the powder out like I don't want it to be like I don't want it to be powder either so all right I feel like my lashes are dry so I'm just gonna curl my lashes with any I don't know where this eyelash curler is from but I'm just gonna do this oh my god this eyeliner actually came out pretty good all right um I'm just gonna curl my lashes And for lashes, I'm using the Velour Lashes in the style, trust me, try it. I'm just gonna move on to bronzer. So this is the Dark Tan Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC. I don't think this is a bronzer. I think this is like a powder, but I use it as a bronzer. Oh, and this is a Morphe M530 brush. For blush, I'm using the um, Milani Baked Blush in the color Rose de Oro. And it's funny, but actually I use a fun brush to apply my blush and I just go like and then I just put it on my cheeks. I feel like that way it doesn't apply as much powder. I feel like I put my bronzer is weird from this side, so I'm gonna try to clean it up a little bit with translucent powder. And for my highlighter, this is everybody's favorite part. Mine was lashes. Oh! What the? What the? F I didn't even know it was shatter. And then I went like that to show you guys, and it came off. <laughs> oh, and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 brush. I think this one came free when I bought some highlighter. So I'm just gonna apply this on the top. Oh, did I say what um, highlighter this one was? This is the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. This is one of my favorite highlighters. Glowing. Glowing. Oh, damn. <gasps> <laughs> this chair is messed up. glowing. I forgot to take off the, the powder. And now moving back to eyes, I'm going to put Mary Luminizer highlighter on the inner corner of my eyes. That way, I don't know, I just think it looks way nicer when you put a highlight right here. Can you see the difference? I don't know if you can, but I can. I'm just gonna put some on the tip of my nose. And just... Now I'm going to apply the same eyeshadows I apply on my crease on my lower lash line. And I'm gonna start with um, Love Letter. This brush is the Sigma E36 blending brush. 
And then I'm going with a no-name brush. Literally, it doesn't have a name. I don't know where it came from. It's just like a... I don't know. It's a weird brush. Um, and I'm going to go with Americano. Is this a pencil brush? No, huh? No. It's just like flat and weird. But it works. So I'm just going to apply Americano right here. I'm going to then apply the same mascara I applied on my top lashes to my bottom lashes. So I am completely done with my eyes. I'm just going to move on to lipstick and this is the final part. And I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Dolce K. These lip liners, guys, oh my god, they're so freaking creamy. And now I'm going with the liquid lipstick, with the, which is also Dolce K. I am in love with how this turned out. Super in love. So yeah, this is it, you guys. Um, I hope you guys liked it. I love how it turned out. I love how it looks. And with this ponytail, it's giving me all types of Valentine's Day vibes. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.